Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This is Early Intermediate number 44 video cast, and this is being suggested by a wonderful person called Caleb Joseph or Joseph Caleb. I don't know. Do <laughs> it comes through as Which Caleb <laughs> Joseph, but I don't know. And Caleb has been sending us lots and lots and lots of suggestions. There's one that we want to cover in this lesson. Okay. Okay. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Cynthia. Gordon. So this is in English, okay? But we're going to talk about some Spanish stuff. Caleb is talking about Spanish structure in a sentence, okay? And he's, he's saying he's fascinated by the fact that the structure can change yes. and it can keep the same meaning, yes. but sometimes it can change the meaning as well, or it can yes. place emphasis in different places. Yes. You mentioned this before, yeah? Yes. So what Caleb's done, and if it's not, if it's Joseph, and I'm saying Caleb, I beg your pardon. Put me right on the next email, and then just say C C J. C J. C J. Okay, and or it could be J C. Okay, well. All right, I'm going to say Caleb for the moment. All right, because <laughs> I've been putting. Like when you were talking about angel. Yeah, exactly. And then it was Angel, angel or angel. No, it was, I said Angel. It was angel. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I have been putting Caleb in the in the emails. And he hasn't corrected any... me. He hasn't okay, corrected me. Okay. So, right. Okay. So let me give you some examples, okay? And we'll look at it. Let's look at the different um, structures and see if it changes the meaning. Okay. So, mi hermano juega a la pelota. Okay? Sí. O mi... Okay. A la pelota, mi hermano juega. Sí. Ajá. Eh... Hermano, no, you see, hermano juega a la pelota, mi. No, no, definitely not. No. And mi a la pelota, hermano juega. No. No. So there's only two valid o sentences a la there. pelota, mi hermano juega. A la pelota. I will, yeah, I've got that one. A la, a la, a la pelota, ah. mi hermano juega. Sí. Mi hermano juega a la pelota, but also, a question. la pelota juega mi hermano. Sí. O Ajá. juega mi hermano a la pelota. Ajá. In a question, for okay. example. Do any of the valid ones, does it change the meaning at all? No. Not the meaning. How does it sound when you say, um, a, la, a la pelota mi hermana juega? Right. Does it sound... It wouldn't be the first option in a sentence. That no. would be after something. For example, a question like, ¿A qué juega tu hermana? A la pelota juega mi hermana. Yes? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it would be like answering something and then you add the little bit extra. ¿A qué juega tu hermana? A la pelota juega mi hermana. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't either juega mi hermana, but so that would be the kind of. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be the. The just. I'm going to give you some information. As you say, it's more like in the, in the answering of it. We do it in the uh, yeah. uh, football. My, my, my brother plays. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, exactly. We will do something similar. Yes. Okay. All right. Brilliant. What about this one? About love. I'm going to. Uh, I'll, I'll build up my love here because I'm going to do it directly to you. Okay. Yo on. te amo a ti. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sí, muy bien. Right? Yeah. Muy bien. Yo a ti te amo. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. A ti yo te amo. Sí, mm -hmm. muy bien. A ti te amo yo. Sí. Mm -hmm. And te amo yo a ti. Sí. So all of those are valid. To and they're all, all in different All orders. of those are valid. But let me... Right. What about this But, one? We're talking about different emphasis. Exactly. Of course. A ti te amo yo. Exactly. Right. Like what no one else. That? Nobody else. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. Have, in English, maybe you would have to emphasize more the word. We'd have to do. No. 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 They. They don't. I love you. I love you. Uh huh. You would have to. You would have to emphasize the word because you you wouldn't be able to move it. A ti te amo yo. Yeah. Y nadie más. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. But the rest. Yo te amo a ti. Yo a ti te amo. Yo a ti te amo. No, you could say, yo a ti te amo. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, um, like with you. Uh, you couldn't do it in English. I don't know how to. Okay. You, I love you. Like that. that yeah, would, that's that what we would do. You, I love you. Yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, or you, I love. No sé. Te amo yo a ti. Te amo yo a ti. Te amo. Well, you could, you could say that, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there'll be a context in which you could say, Te amo yo a ti. 
Te, te amo yo a ti como tú me amas a mí. Uh -huh. For example. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which in English. Mm. Me, it would be like this. Me, I love you like you love me. Mm -hmm. For yeah. example, yes. Yeah. So all of them, it, it, and really it's a lot to do with the tonality as yes, well that you yes. put on it. Yeah, we're talking know? about different, different. Mm -hmm. The meaning is the same, the emphasis is different. Yeah. Okay. It's a different. But be aware that. Connotation. In Spanish, there is tremendous flexibility. I mean, look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different ways of saying that. We have six different ways. Obviously, the, the usual one would be yo te amo a ti, or yo te yeah. amo, yo o te, te amo, o te amo. Uh -huh. te amo. Yeah, yeah. But like I say, if, if I say te amo a ti, it's I love you. Specifically. Specifically. Or yo te amo, I love you, mm -hmm. not, not him or not her. Yeah. So, in English, it would be... You could do it in English as well. Yeah. With uh, yeah. the emphasis... I love you. No, I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you, me. <laughs> I love you, me. Okay? That's that's I from the northeast you. of England. I okay. You, I love you, me. <laughs> I love carpets, me. <laughs> I okay. love carpets, me. What about this oh, one, then? Memories. Now, this one's with gustar. And again, this catches people out. But l a little tip... With gustar and with all of those verbs that, 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 were, that are indirectly talking about something, the person that is receiving the, the, um, the, the action the, is the a, right? But with yes. gustar, what happens is the person who is doing the pleasing, right, is the name without the a. The person who is receiving the pleasing is with the a, always. So the person who says I like, they've got the a ah with gustar, yes, right? Because it's it works. Something is doing the pleasing, and you are receiving it. Yeah. You're not doing the pleasing. You're not pleasing anyone. No. Something is pleasing you. Yeah. Or someone is pleasing you. So in yeah. English, you would say I like, but we would say something pleases me. And even, that's why we have even clearer. Something is pleasing to me, and that too yeah. is the a. Ah. Okay. All right, that's yeah. if you think yeah. about it's pleasing to me, then that helps you. Okay, so we've got a Maria le gusta la televisión. Muy bien. Okay. Muy bien. Error, pero muy bien. Vale. Okay. Best to switch it off, but that's, <laughs> Lego, that's for another, that's for another channel. <laughs> that's for another another channel. One. Yeah. <laughs> le, gusta, <laughs> le gusta a Maria la televisión. That would be more like a question. Le gusta a Maria la televisión. Okay. Yeah, that sounds more like a question. Ah, le gusta a Maria okay. la, than a uh, sentence. Le gusta la televisión a Maria. Another question. Another question. Le gusta yeah. la televisión a Maria. And, and again, la televisión le gusta a Maria. Perfect. Another question, yeah? Or not. La televisión le gusta a Maria, sí. Okay. All right. Oh, question or not. That could be both. So, la televisión a Maria le gusta. Again, la televisión a Maria le gusta. That's more like a follow-on from... A, 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 a ¿Qué le, ¿Qué le, le, le gusta? ¿Qué le gusta a María? Sí, ¿qué le gusta? La televisión le gusta a María. Yeah. Sí. Es como la énfasis en televisión. Sí. La and, televisión and, le gusta. La radio no. La televisión le gusta a mm. María. That kind of feeling, ¿eh? Yeah. So, énfasis en televisión. And then we got the last one. A María la televisión le gusta. A María la televisión le gusta. I mean, you could say that. But... One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what's interesting is in that sentence, you could say that. Three la, la things. La le gusta. A María le gusta and la televisión. You can put them in any order, right? That's why there are six, sen the six sentences there. Mm -hmm. It's just that that's the maximum variation that you can have, okay? The most typical one is... A María, a María. le gusta la televisión. That's the most typical, okay? All right. So let's do the last one. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Oh, let's find out. Uh, Miguel da la pelota a su hermano. I would say le da. No? Oh, I would say le da. Le mm. da la pelota a su hermano. I would okay. use the redundant. Right. So we'll, do, we'll work with that. So Miguel le da la pelota a su hermano. Yeah. O Miguel la pelota le, le da, da a su, su hermano. hermano. Sí. Okay. O Miguel la pelota a su hermano le da. Miguel, la pelota, su hermano le da... I mean, you could say that, but it sounds a bit weird. It sounds a bit weird to me weird. as well. It yeah. sounds a bit like... Eh, 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 eh. So, a su hermano le da la pelota Miguel. A su hermano le da la pelota Miguel. Yes, you could say that. Mm -hmm. 
You know what the beauty is about the Spanish sentence? The reason that you can mess about with it, and you can't in English, is because whoever's receiving it has got at in front of them, and whoever's doing it has no at. So you can, you can say, Miguel le da la pelota a su hermano, or a su hermano le da la pelota a Miguel. For a Spanish person, there's no confusion in that sentence whatsoever because a su hermano, that means he's getting it, and mm -hmm. Miguel, he's doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But in English, um, so Miguel gives the ball to, to his, his brother. brother. To, to his, his brother, brother Miguel, Miguel gives, gives the, the ball. ball. Eh, eh, ooh. Um, and to his brother, the, the ball, ball, the ball Miguel to gives. his brother, Miguel gives. You, you can't do, you can't mess about with it in English like that. I mean, I suppose you could say that maybe in poetry or something. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. the same, the same. I mean, these sentences wouldn't be the first choice, of course. No. Could you? Yes. Would you? Mm, it would, there would have to be a context for it. Quite often, what happens is that you're in a conversation, and most times the odd. The odd structure comes out because you you're thinking uh -huh. you, you 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 want to jump you know oh my, oh, my brother um, I give him the ball you or know. you're emphasizing something yeah la pelota le da Miguel yeah. a su hermano la pelota uh -huh. it was the ball not the something. exactly yeah and so if you you want to, if you want to focus on the brother you put the brother first if you want to focus on the ball you uh -huh. put the ball uh -huh. first if you want to focus on Miguel yeah you put or Miguel the question first. a quién a quién se la da a su hermano a su hermano le da uh -huh. la pelota a Miguel sí Yeah. Oh, pero ¿quién? ¿Quién? Miguel. Miguel. Le, le da. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? La pelota. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that that's all that happens with it. You know, it's your choice of emphasis. You do have flexibility much more than in English, but don't get too hung up on it. Yes. You yeah. do it the normal way, and you'll be absolutely fine. Just you know, don't don't think because you can do six different variations that you've got to do six variations because. That would just sound weird. <laughs> you, people go, he speaks really weirdly. Yeah? Keep chopping and changing yeah, the sentences. Like I said, you need a context for yeah. these sentences. You can't, yeah. you can't just... Um, you can't, but... It wouldn't be the natural way yeah. of speaking. The natural way would be Miguel le da la pelota a su hermano. Yeah. Yeah? So use the context of if you want to emphasize something, put it first. Yeah. But yeah. if you want to emphasize a su hermano le da la pelota a Miguel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Then uh -huh. yes, if you want to emphasize something in particular for whatever reason, yeah. then yes, la pelota yeah. le da Miguel a su hermano. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But if not, just do, if it's just a bit of information, do it the normal route. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The normal way. As como Dios manda. Como Dios manda. Como Dios sí. manda. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Muy bien, Gordon. Entonces, eso es todo, chicos. Muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros. Remember that if you do like Um, watching these kind of uh, informative videos and they are informative I tell you that that's a hypnotic suggestion these are <laughs> informative then we Click offer like. <laughs> absolutely you will uh, we um, have also our um, Ser Socio which is a mm -hmm. subscriber group and every week you get specific lessons for you that people are actually asking for with, and we with, make them exactly with Their suggestions. With their suggestions, with transcriptions, with homework, the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. okay, and translation. And not... Transcription, translation, translation and, homework and homework with the answers. With the answers, which is also very important. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Not just the homework. And We give answers are... here. We give yeah, answers. Go home. <laughs> okay. Entonces, chicos, muchísimas gracias. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.